Welcome back for another anti malware test review. Today we'll be testing a Vera free antivirus or free security, and it's going up against your basic built in antivirus protection Windows Defender. So, for um, a Vera, we'll quickly have a look at the settings. Okay, so for these two, um, they are for the paid version for real time protection. Um, set the uh, archives to scan archives as well, network drives. We have two exclusions for our two scripts that we need to run. Uh, under virus scan, we set to scan all files, archives, um, ISO files, and things like that. Okay, so not much that you can actually change um, on the free version. Um, that's about it. Any of these options, you want to enable them, you need to pay for them. For um, Windows Defender, we'll click have a look here at uh, Defender. Okay, all the um, settings are enabled. Damper protection, controlled folder access is enabled. Uh, firewall is enabled. Um, Levitation based is enabled, uh, core isolation is enabled, and that's it. Um, did not use the configuration tool for this one. Okay, that's quick and easy for Defender as well. Um, just gonna disable the protection so that we can get the malware extracted and start this test. Okay, now that all the malware has been extracted, um, let's just make sure that these products are up to date. Um, I'll need to enable a VDAS protection to check for updates. Okay, so um, I just need to turn um, a VDAS on again, so I just had to quickly turn it off. Okay, it's on. Let's quickly check for updates. I'm just going to wait for these two to update. Okay, now that the programs are fully up to date, it's time to enable the protection for uh, Defender. I have seen notifications from Avira. It has already removed two malware from the desktop. So we need to get this test going. Okay, cloud by security. Okay. Real-time protection is enabled. We are testing 2,293 samples. Okay, that's there. Okay, Defender seems to be happy. It's green, it's good. Um, now, the free version does not have um, website protection, but we'll just see what happens in any case. If something downloads, if Avira is capable of um, picking up the malware when it wants to um, load on the machine. So let's quickly see what happens. Uh, smart screen filter is disabled on the AV because um, I uh, want to see if a virus is capable of protecting it in some sort of way. Okay, so it seems like Safe Shopping actually did block this thread, so that's actually good to see. Okay, that one opened. Okay, so these ones are not connecting for some reason. Uh, let's look on Defender. Some of these sites might have been shut down in the in the process. So some of these sites might be down. Okay, so they both opened up the YouTube one. And let's close that. Let's see if anything did download. Okay, 
Okay, nope. Still just the same Kaspersky stuff. Okay, so it doesn't seem like anything downloaded, but it looks like a lot of those links that I have might be might be dead. Um, and there are still fairly new links, but they might be might be offline. Okay, so now for the main event. Okay, so it says thread is blocked. So that's good to see. Let's see if anything is running yet. Okay, doesn't seem like anything is in the memory as of yet. Um, just going to attend to this, guys. You know the routine. And then I'll let you guys know as soon as the test is done. Okay, so all the malware has been executed. Um, the test for Vira has been over for a, a little bit or a while. Um, the machine is definitely damaged. Um, now, we do only have this one that's actively running uh, in memory. Um, but I did obviously stop the test as well. Um, now for the malware that's in this memory, um, these are the only vendors that have rated this file, so it seems like it's still fairly new. Let's see if we have any startup items. Okay, so we have this one and this one, so there are two startup items. Now let's have a look see at the vendor. Yeah, we have quite a bit of malware still running. Um, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 15, 16, 17. So, yeah, we still have about 17 or so running. I did try to open them up all in virus total. So, these are just some of the examples. So there's still quite a bit of them, um, so the majority of them seems to have been rated. Um, so there's a process there, another process and there as well, a couple of them. Okay, let's look at startup. Uh, we have one here and then we obviously have these couple of uh, register server things. And this one and then this one as well. Okay, so there's quite uh, quite a bit of them. Um, a video wants to reboot, so I'm going to do that now. Um, Defender, we're going to restart it. Okay, so these two are going to restart. Once they're up and running, I'm going to update them and start the full scans. Okay, guys, so the full scans are completed. Um, five threads have been quarantined by Avira. We're just going to close that. Um, Defender is also done with the full scan, but I do still see it does still say actions are needed. But we're going to restart them now um, so that we can start with third party opinion scans and then finalize this test. And the results are in, so let's quickly have a look here. Um, only one now is still left on the desktop. I think I, I was not able to delete that. So let's just close this error message. For Defender, um, quite a bit of samples, uh, 26. Um, so we obviously have app data roaming, local temp, uh, program data, app, app data. Uh, there again. Um, yeah, quite a bit on the app data. So there's quite a lot, so obviously 2246. Um, and data roaming, just quickly going through it. And then public library, so yeah, so definitely um, a malware fiesta on this machine. Okay, let's close that. Okay, for Norton, um, under temp file, there's a CMD. Uh, let's have a look, see. Okay. 
there's this one. Okay, Norton here also uh, 14 detections, local temp, roaming, uh, program files, and things like that. We'll close that. Okay, if secure found nothing. Uh, Komodo quick scan found nothing. Um, Komodo quick scan found one on this one. Let's have a look see. Uh, it disabled the UAC so that makes it easier for malware to execute so then you don't need user permissions uh, and it's close that ok so for Kaspersky found no problems um, on this one found 9 objects um, in the memory so they're still persistent um, libraries, app data yeah ok cool so let's just move this out of the way uh, malware bytes ok that one malware on the desktop and obviously files on the temp oh, let's just close that um, and then two registry keys I will close that for um, Defender um, 71 objects um, program data as well app data um, folders and files and process modules and whatnot go down, here we've got scheduled tasks um, and then obviously a couple of registry keys yeah, also quite a bit of registry keys close that, close that um, yeah, so we do have also quite a lot of um, pop-ups here Ok, so let's see if anything actually installed for um, Avira. We obviously have these two installers. Um, you'll notice that Microsoft Edge here seems wrong, but I'll show you now. Um, so two apps there. Uh, browser Assistant, I think that was part of the Malwarebytes um, findings. Uh, Geometry Dash installed, and that's about it. Ok, let's look at our startup items. Um, we still have this one uh, that was uh, before the full scan it was there and it's still here and then we've got this one and then seems like a let's see no, ok it's disabled so it might be broken uh, I mean, uh, Microsoft uh, quite a bit looks like we have a star might be Patrick from Spongebob um, then we have all of this and then that so yeah that's not good at all let's quickly see what's running Discuss that. Yeah, doesn't seem like anything is running at this stage. Then we look see at uh, Defender. Uh, we have these two that's running, and as you can see, it's still creating some processes. So we still got quite a bit of malware. So, uh, let's look at that one. Look at that one. Oh, that was Process Explorer. Just gonna look at that one. It's the same one. Uh, that one and that one. And that one. Okay. So while we wait for that, um, you'll notice that I installed Firefox. The reason for that is uh, Microsoft Edge is broken. And it looks like the MSI or the EXE was deleted, so I had to install Firefox. Now for the ransomware, um, it's undetermined, so it could be new new ransomware, um, or they might not just be aware of the sub variant family, but um, can't determine it. Now let's look at our resources. Okay, so it doesn't seem like it's just opening up. Let's try again. While we wait for that, let's look at our um, results. Okay, so as you guys can see, our um, downloads are infected. Downloads for Defender is okay. Documents, our documents survived. Documents did not survive on Avira. Pictures and pictures. Our pictures did not survive. And our pictures on Defender did survive. 
Okay, so it's not opening up for some reason, but as you guys can see, fairly half of the vendors are aware of these threats that are running here. Um, so these should be fairly new malware. And yeah, okay, so let's wrap this test up for a video. Unfortunately, no good results. Um, I think I might have been an half an hour into the test and it succumbed to ransomware, so obviously I stopped it. Um, so at this point, I can't recommend a Vera Free. Um, the new interface does look better, but obviously, um, and also just one thing to keep in mind the Vera Free does not provide the ransomware protection. So if you have um, a new type of variant, be it ransomware or whatever, um, and it tries to avoid the threat mitigation or tries to avoid or does actually avoid uh, heuristics and behavior analysis it's going to get passed and then because the free version does not have ransomware protection it cannot roll back or protect you from that so I would rather stick with Windows Defender at this point although Defender has its own problems it did also not do really well in this test at least there's no ransomware infection and Defender made it through the whole test um, like I mentioned, the video of 30 minutes in and I had to stop it. So at least the vendor made the test till the end um, and no ransomware infection. So between these two, I would rather use the vendor. Um, but also not definitely not a clean slate for the vendor. But yeah, the vendor is the clear winner. But yeah, not good results at all. So let me know what you guys thought about this test. I'll be working on the other ones. Um, but yeah, this was um, interesting. Oh, and then for Avira, I did manage to obtain a license for the um, a, um, Avira Antivirus Pro. The reason why I'm, I'm deciding on Pro is I'm not going to test the VPN and um, child protection and password protection and optimizations that all the internet securities and total protections provide. I'm just going to test the real-time protection, so no point to me getting a license that has VPN and all that stuff, I'm not going to use it, so that's why I took the license for um, Avira Pro, so it will be interesting to see how well that will perform, because that does have web protection and ransomware protection, so I'll be testing that soon, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this video, I hope it was informative, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.